term lemon might evoke thoughts of a refreshing citrus fruit, a symbol of zest and vitality, often enjoyed in a cool drink on a hot day. But in the world of consumer protection, it takes on a whole new meaning, one that is far less refreshing and much more frustrating. A lemon refers to a product, often a vehicle, that suffers from significant defects that impair its use, value or safety. These defects can range from minor annoyances to major safety hazards. These defects often persist despite multiple repair attempts, leaving consumers frustrated and out of pocket. The repeated trips to the mechanic and the mounting repair bills can be overwhelming. Lemon laws are a vital consumer protection tool implemented in many countries to address this issue. They are designed to protect consumers from the financial burden and inconvenience of defective products. These laws provide a legal framework for consumers to seek remedies when they purchase a defective product, commonly known as a lemon. This framework includes options such as refunds, replacements or compensation. They offer a safety net ensuring consumers are not burdened with faulty goods and have recourse against manufacturers or sellers. This safety net is crucial for maintaining consumer confidence in the marketplace. The concept of lemon laws originated in the United States, driven by the increasing complexity of automobiles and the potential for manufacturing defects. As cars became more sophisticated, the likelihood of defects increased. The first Lemon Law was enacted in Connecticut in 1982, and its success paved the way for similar legislation across the US and internationally. This landmark law set a precedent for consumer protection. Today, Lemon Laws are prevalent in North America, Europe and parts of Asia signifying a global recognition of the need to protect consumers from defective products. This global perspective highlights the universal importance of consumer rights. These laws vary in scope and application, but they share a common goal to hold manufacturers accountable and provide consumers with a fair and efficient means of redress. This shared goal unites different legal systems in the pursuit of justice for consumers. Malaysia, a rapidly developing nation with a burgeoning automotive market, recognised the need to strengthen consumer protection in line with global standards. While the country has robust consumer protection laws, a dedicated lemon law was absent leaving a gap in addressing defective vehicles effectively. To address this, the Ministry of Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs, or KPDN, stepped in to introduce interim measures while a comprehensive lemon law is being finalised. These interim measures, rolled out in stages, aim to provide immediate relief to consumers grappling with defective vehicles. The interim measures focus on empowering consumers and providing a more streamlined process for seeking redress. They are designed to be easily understandable and accessible, ensuring consumers can navigate the process without unnecessary legal hurdles. These measures represent a significant step towards a more robust consumer protection framework in Malaysia. The introduction of these interim measures signifies the government's commitment to safeguarding consumer rights and fostering a fairer marketplace. It reflects a proactive approach to addressing a pressing issue and aligns with the global trend of strengthening consumer protection laws, particularly in the automotive sector. One of the key interim measures implemented by KPDN is the establishment of standard operating procedures or SOPs for consent letters. These SOPs are designed to provide a clear and structured approach for consumers to follow when they encounter issues with their purchased vehicles. These letters play a crucial role in facilitating the claims process for consumers who have purchased defective vehicles. 
By having a standardized format, it ensures that all necessary information is communicated effectively, reducing the chances of miscommunication or delays. The consent letter serves as a formal notification from the consumer to the manufacturer or seller, outlining the defects experienced with the vehicle. This formal notification is essential as it sets the stage for the claims process, ensuring that the manufacturer or seller is fully aware of the issues at hand. It details the issues encountered, repair attempts made, and the desired resolution, which could be a replacement vehicle, full refund, or repair at no cost. This comprehensive documentation helps in providing a clear picture of the consumer's experience and the steps taken to resolve the issue. To further streamline the process, KPDN has mandated the creation of dedicated units within financial institutions that provide higher purchase loans for vehicles. These units are specifically trained to handle claims related to defective vehicles, ensuring that consumers receive the support they need. These units act as intermediaries between consumers and financial institutions, facilitating communication and ensuring a smoother claims process. They play a crucial role in bridging the gap between the consumer and the financial institution, making the entire process more efficient. The dedicated units provide guidance to consumers on submitting their consent letters, track the progress of claims, and liaise with relevant parties, including manufacturers, sellers, and the Tribunal for Consumer Claims, to expedite resolutions. This comprehensive support system ensures that consumers are not left to navigate the claims process on their own. This measure aims to alleviate the burden on consumers and ensure their claims are handled efficiently and fairly. By providing a structured and supportive environment, KPDN is helping to build consumer confidence and trust in the system. By establishing clear SOPs for consent letters, and creating dedicated units in financial institutions, KPDN has taken significant steps to empower consumers. These initiatives are designed to protect consumer rights and ensure that they have a clear path to seek redress. These measures simplify the claims process, making it easier for consumers to seek redress for defective vehicles and ensuring their rights are protected. With these steps, KPDN is not only addressing current issues, but also setting a precedent for future consumer protection initiatives. While the interim measures encourage amicable resolutions between consumers and manufacturers or sellers, disputes may still arise. These disputes can be complex and emotionally charged often requiring a structured approach to reach a fair resolution. To address this, the Tribunal for Consumer Claims plays a crucial role in resolving disputes related to defective vehicles. It serves as a specialised forum where consumers can seek justice without the need for lengthy and costly court battles. The Tribunal is an independent body established under the Consumer Protection Act 1999. This act was designed to protect consumer rights and ensure that businesses adhere to fair practices. It provides a platform for consumers to file claims against businesses 